ZK Sync is finally alive, but what does it mean for the whole crypto and DeFi industry? Well, we have been talking a lot about R between the last couple of months, but even previously. Right now, it's time to focus in the new big narrative that is about ZK rollups. What we'll talk about together into this video is about ZK Sync from one side, because it's live, you can use it, and there are several protocols that I highly recommend you to use, also if you are interested to be able to get an airdrop. On the other side, I want to show you also other two different big blockchains that are releasing right now and are using ZK rollups. So stay tuned because it's quite important for you to understand and also start using because both of the new uh, blockchains that I will present to you are all of them preparing also an airdrop. So be uh, ready for that. Okay, guys, let's start immediately. Let me say this channel is about educational content. Nothing has to be intended as financial advice. If you want to invest in anything, that's fine, but do always your research before. And guys, don't forget also to leave us a big thumbs up. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what is your favorite ZK Rollup blockchain. There are many of them. Many are also coming. So feel free to share anything that could be interesting. I will be more than welcome to listen. And don't forget to check out also all our links in the description below, like our weekly newsletter, the Twitter account, and so on. Okay, guys, let's start. I want to start stopping for a second looking at how the uh, TVL into DeFi is distributed. As you can see, Arbitrum has been reaching the fourth position with a plus 24% in the last uh, month. To be fair, we have also to remember that this kind of 24% in increase is also due to the fact that Arbitrum airdrop pushed new liquidity into that ecosystem. But on the other side, finally, if we search here ZK, you will see that there are four different ZK uh, blockchains. The first one is Z uh, ZK Sync Era. This is the new uh, blockchain that has been just released by ZK Sync. Era is just the name of uh, the mainnet. So if we check it out through DeFi Llama, you will see that there are already different protocols that are available on the network. And as you can see also in the last seven days, the TVL, generally speaking, has been growing a lot. My suggestion at this point is instead of using just DeFi Llama, I would rather use ZK Sync or the official website. So go to zksync.io and the ecosystem page is the one that is showing you which protocols are available right now. I'm suggesting that for the simple reason you have always to pay attention and defend yourself because camps are always there and you are always at risk to lose something. And that's something that's pretty important because remember, with the promise of an airdrop, there are many speculators, many scammers that are trying to take advantage from this situation. So before using any kind of protocol, specifically because it is a new protocol, check it out if it is legit. If you find it here on a ZK Sync official website, it means that with any probability it is legit. And after that, use it. Another suggestion could be guys use a dedicated wallet. So don't move all of your money there. Right now, yes, ZK Sync and like all the other blockchains that I will show you just in a moment, it's true, they are offering a lot of opportunities because they are new, maybe in some case the APR could be even higher. But the reality is that in this moment is much more a discovery phase. I'm a highly encourage you to use them because it's true, ZK Sync with any probability will go through another airdrop. And we have seen what happened with uh, uh, Arbitrum. So a good idea could be using ZK Sync blockchain, different protocols on different wallets. Even better if you can use a dedicated wallet, so you can remember, you can tag all of them like ZK Sync wallets, and you're using all of that, all of these addresses, just to check it out. For example, I will show you just an idea of a flow. Let's suppose that you have $1,000. Well, that's an amount that is more than enough to qualify for ZK Sync airdrop. Or at least this is more than enough if the same that happened with Arbitrum will happen again. As we have seen in that airdrop, to qualify for an airdrop, you had to, uh, you were needing like a volume about 10K. Obviously, that was just one of the many requirements. And, but having at least 10K, it is something that can help you. How to get 
10k of volume. Well, it's pretty easy at the end of the story. If you have just 1k, all you have to do is swapping at least 10 times your $1,000. And what you can do, my suggestion is go here, go on live on era, and just click on DeFi. For example, we can go on mute.io, just click on the website. Once you are in the website, you have to connect the wallet. If you are, haven't yet uh, added your uh, the network, ZK era network, all you have to do is just go here on chain list, right here, ZK, and you will find ZK era mainnet, just connect the wallet and you will be able to add this network. Once you have done that, you are ready to use, for example, in this case, sync swap. Remember, another thing that is quite important is that usually the amount of fees that you are seeing on your MetaMask wallet is not a real one. It's not a real one that you will pay. It's usually much less. Uh, the protocol is giving you and it's telling you that it's giving you back around 50 to 70% of the amount that were displayed the moment when you sign the transaction. That's it, something that will be improved in the next future and that's something that will change also with the next update of uh, Ethereum, but uh, so far this is how it is going, so pay attention to that. So as we said, if you want to qualify for that Airbnb, my suggestion is move, use the official bridge of uh, ZK uh, Sync ecosystem, just go here, you can uh, check it out uh, into bridges and you have all the different bridges that are available or you can also simply go here into the website of ZK Sync and just click here on bridge. This is the official bridge of ZK Sync and that's at least the, the ones that I have been uh, personally using. But feel free to use whatever is better for you. My suggestion is as long as it is uh, fair, as long as it is legit, it is fine. Uh, in order to qualify for an airdrop, it's always better to use different protocols. I rather prefer to use the bridge of ZK Sync for, uh, specifically for the single reason that as we have seen in other projects, people were getting more points, let's say in this way, if they were using the official bridge of uh, uh, the network. Generally speaking, the minimum amount of protocols that I'm suggesting to use for each wallet is at least five different protocols. So go down here and choose at least five different protocols. Even better if you can do at least five transactions for each of the different protocols. That's the kind of ideal scenario. Once you have done with one wallet, you can even repeat the same kind of process with other wallets. There is no limit of how many times you can do that. Obviously, the only limit that you have is that for any, any transaction, you will pay around, let's say, 50 cents, something like that. That is a lot, not a lot, it's up to you. I don't think that it's so much, but that's fine. We can consider that maybe the goal could be having an airdrop about 1,000, so even, spend, even paying something like about 20 to 30 bucks, it could be a fair amount in order to get at least 1,000. A dollar. Obviously, we have to take in consideration that uh, it is just still an hypothesis. It's not something that is for granted. We don't know in which moment uh, the airdrop will take place and not even if it will take place and how big it will be. So we are just making uh, hypothesis and uh, that's some and try to suppose what uh, will be the behavior of uh, this uh, uh, project. Now that we have seen ZK Sync era, I want to show you two other projects that are going exactly into this direction. One is probably something that you already know. The other one, well, that's something that is pretty new as a, uh, as a topic, but could be also pretty big. I want to add another thing, guys. Remember, we are still talking about something that is new, so everything could change. Keep an eye on the news, keep an eye on my channel, keep an eye on Twitter account, follow the accounts of uh, these projects. If you are interested to get the airdrop, to understand, also to also getting used to this topic, because remember, ZK with any probability will be the big topic of the whole next bull run. And the more you have an understanding on how it works, well, this is so powerful. Okay, let's go to the next uh, ZK blockchain, and I'm obviously talking about ZK EVM, by Polygon. As you can see, at the same time almost when ZK Sync was releasing its own one, also ZK VM by Polygon has gone to uh, the beta on mainnet. 
And that's a big step forward. The prediction is that all of them, obviously, they are competing one to, each, uh, to the other, are trying to beat the other one in, in terms of time. So that's the reason why you are seeing this moment so many announcements about ZK rollups. Before going on, let me specify for those of you who are still wondering what is a ZK rollup and why it is more powerful than, for example, an optimistic rollup. The main difference is that when we talk about ZK rollups, it means a transaction is verified using an algorithm, a math, so using some math. So it is called zero knowledge because the algorithm, it doesn't need to know anything else than the numbers that are already public. And using these numbers, it is checking out the transaction is right. On the other side, when we talk about optimistic rollup, it is called optimistic for the simple reason it is supposing that the transaction is correct by its own, not because they have done any kind of verification, but just because they are trusting that people that are doing that transaction are uh, doing it in the right way. Obviously, there is a layer of security, and that's also the reason why in order to withdraw from a, a, an optimistic rollup to Ethereum, it is taking so long, because in the moment when you are moving your money from uh, the rollup, the layer 2, to Ethereum, all the checks that haven't been through before are happening in that moment. And if anyone, if uh, during any kind of check, uh, something that is wrong will pop up, well, in that moment, the uh, transaction will be uh, revert and uh, uh, corrected. Now that we have understood which is the difference between an optimistic rollup and a zero knowledge technology, let's dig into what is happening right now. Because as we, as we have seen, Polygon, well, it wasn't so new that Polygon was launching its own. I encourage you also in this case to uh, go through, I will leave also this uh, announcement into the description below, to go through the different uh, propositions, the different uh, uh, protocols that are available on uh, um, ZKVM by uh, Polygon. And also in this case, I highly encourage you to use the uh, technology from one side to understand it, because the more you understand how it works, how fast it is, which kind of new protocols are joining that kind of ecosystem. And remember one thing, the more the technology is evolving, well, the more also new protocols will be able to develop something new, something that can bring new value into the ecosystem. And obviously, if you are following the ecosystem, if you are following what is happening into that space, well, you will be the first one to know also about the new protocol that's introducing something new, and it could be so powerful because obviously if you are the first one entering into that kind of opportunity, well, the kind of yield that you can bring at home is much higher. Uh, I wanna show you also another thing here from DeFi Lama. If you search here Polygon ZK EVM, you will see which are the protocols that are already uh, deployed on uh, ZK EVM. Obviously also in this case, there are information that are available also on their website. Uh, the same rules that we have been talking about for ZK Sync era are applying also for uh, ZK EVM by Polygon because with any probability also this blockchain will have uh, an, an airdrop because uh, it's not just about Polygon, Matic, but uh, it is probable that it will launch a new token. Coming to the last news, there is something new that is coming uh, out and I'm talking about uh, Linea. This is a new blockchain layer 2 scaling solution on Ethereum that is based on ZK rollup. The reason why it is interesting is mainly because it's powered by consensus. If you're wondering what is consensus, is the same company that is behind also MetaMask. MetaMask is the biggest wallet in the world and so many people are wondering when we will have a big airdrop by MetaMask. Well, one of the opportunities that the same kind of airdrop could be connected to the new blockchain they are launching. As you can see, this is the website of Linea and it is based on ZK rollup. So again, as you can understand guys, ZK will be the next big trend into the whole crypto and DeFi industry. So don't underestimate the power of this kind of tagline because at least for a while, it could be a big buzzword. And as we have seen many times in a moment when there is a buzzword, also the price of all the tokens that are connected to that kind of buzzword, well, it's quite powerful and the kind of gain could be quite high. So as we were saying, 
down here you can find MetaMask, Infura, Truffle, and so on. So different kind of uh, services are powered by consensus. The reason why it's so important is that if until just the other day, many people were talking about, well, if you want to qualify for the MetaMask possible mask, uh, mask airdrop, that's the token that could be uh, powering MetaMask. Well, you have just to use MetaMask, maybe swapping through directly the wallet, using their bridge, their portfolio, and so on. The reality is that right now something is changing because I don't know if you noticed, but if you go to portfolio.metamask.io, you will see that they are offering also new services like staking, you have a watch list, you can have directly a bridge, the possibility to swap, buy, and so on. Buy it's also giving you the ability also to use directly your credit card and so on. So the reality, what is happening right now is really MetaMask and Consensus are really pushing a lot to create a whole ecosystem that is enabling to uh, empower what you have to do into any kind of DeFi ecosystem. And one of the things that are going on is also this new linear layer 2 ZK Relapse blockchain. And my suggestion is, guys, start using it. Start understanding how it works. Start really, as I was telling you, it's not necessary to do so many transactions to move so much money into the blockchain, but use it. Dedicate, I don't know, one hour a week just to move money from one blockchain to the other one. Yes, there is a cost of transaction fees and so on. And again, I'm saying just if you're interested, because there is nothing bad to say, I don't care, 1,000 more, 1,000 less, I have in my own strategies, and I don't really care anything about uh, Linea, ZK Sync, ZK EVM, about at least over the air group. Another story is about knowing the technology. That's something that uh, it is worth it anyway. It doesn't matter if you care or don't care about the airdrop, but knowing the tech, knowing what's going on, that's something is so important because also for a time you are seeing that right now so much is happening about ZK. Well, probably because it's a big topic and that's something that will have an impact. It could be a big narrative behind the next bull run. So be on top of these trends. The more you're understanding them, the better you will be performing not the airdrop, but also just for your portfolio. Anyway, I will leave all the links of Linea, ZK Sync, ZK EVM, a chain list if you wanna add, and also the portfolio by MetaMask. I'm suggesting you to check it out just for your personal knowledge. Ask me whatever you think is still unclear and let me know which is your favorite ZK rollup blockchain. Is there anyone, any other blockchain that you are waiting, that you are really, you really want to see it in action? Because there are many others. There is Starkware that is going to the same direction and others are coming too. So let me know what is your opinion. Let me know what is your favorite one and which could have the highest impact into the whole crypto market. Let me know into the comment section below. Guys, thank you for following me and I will see you in the next video. Bye.